This is a shoe from one of my favorite skateboarders and a company that puts a lot of technology in their shoes. This is the review of the New Balance 306 Jamie Floyds. Here on the number one skateboard shoe review channel, well, we got a lot of big things going on. We got these shoe reviews, we got the Sodi episode that's gonna be coming out soon, and we got the shoe drop pack that I just dropped in the last shoe review. You guys liked it, downloaded it, and subscribed to it so many times that you shot it all the way up to the 99 spot in the top free category on the App Store. So thank you for that, and the update for it just came out, so if you haven't downloaded it yet, don't worry, go into the description down below and download it right there. This update has animations of a free sticker of me stabbing Mike with a shoe, and the subscribers get an animation of me breaking a board. So you get pissed off and be like, hey, you, screw you guy, you just send him a, you breaking a board. More comments, more suggestions, love to hear them. Leave them in the comments down below. And since we got a lot of big things going on over here, I had to check out Big Boy Floyd's new shoe. And of course, I don't know anyone at New Balance, no one's giving me any money. I bought these shoes myself for $85, giving me the free range to tell you exactly what I think about them. It's not every skate shoe company that emphasizes so much on how a shoe is made and the materials that it's made of, but minus the super cool animation, it does seem like they pay attention to the features on Jamie Floyd's new shoe. The features that are on the 306 is elastic gusted tongue for a snug fit, internal hidden toe protection for added durability, minimal four foot rubber for enhanced board feel, glow cell polyurethane insert protection provides super impact protection, and they're claiming that the grip on the outsole is superior for grip and durability. One of the first things that I noticed about this shoe is that it feels pretty light and it's very minimal as I put my foot in it for the first time. And even though it doesn't have like a lot of meat on its bones, it felt really solid when I started skating them. I always notice that there's usually some type of adjustment that always comes with skating a new shoe. Whether that be a nuisance and making me have to rethink the way I do all my tricks, or a slight adjustment making it so that all the tricks that I do feel a lot better. When it came to the 306s, they reacted better than I thought immediately, and every kickflip that I do felt amazing from the very first kickflip all the way till today when I did a kickflip earlier. And I've been skating these shoes for about three weeks now, and that flick is still pristine. It was really easy for me to get used to skating these shoes, and the board feel on it was amazing, probably thanks to that special outsole. Whenever a shoe has good board feel, it usually means that the impact protection is pretty bad. So I took out the crappy insoles that came with the shoes and put in my new favorite insoles, footprint insoles. So go in the description down below and buy some from there because they will definitely help you be able to skate a lot more, a lot longer. I did not have the utmost confidence when it came to jumping downstairs with these shoes, but to be honest with you guys, I haven't really been jumping down that much stuff recently. But when it came to this session, I did rub some CBD on my knee and felt like, hey, maybe I should jump down some stuff. If I hadn't rubbed the CBD on my knee, I probably wouldn't have wanted to jump down anything at all because it usually starts to hurt. So if you want some CBD, if your body's hurting, go in the description down below. Typically when I think of a New Balance shoe, I don't really like the way that they look. I do appreciate this little subtle touch of gray because I think it does add a little pizzazz to the shoe, but this big dumbass end that's on the side of the shoe is stupid as hell and needs to go. I don't like it. So overall, these shoes look all right. The only thing I hate is this stupid end. I started skating these shoes three weeks ago, and even though I haven't been skating every single day, I have been skating a lot, and I'm really surprised that this upper isn't ripping at all. The bottom tread of the shoe is wearing out a lot more than the entire upper. So I'm pretty sure this is one of those shoes that the bottom of the shoe is gonna die before the upper does. I'm also really surprised that none of these super thin laces ripped all the way through while I've been skating them. That solid stiff feeling that I like so much has lasted a while with these, but as of recently, I do feel like they've been getting a little loosey-goosey on me. The tread on the bottom of the shoe has worn down more than the entire upper, but the grip has stayed consistent the entire time. Jamie Floyd's new shoe has a lot more pros than cons for me. And the worst thing about it is this big stupid N on the side of it. So if you're looking for a shoe that's quite minimal and that will last you a while, then these are perfect for you. 
if you're the type of person who likes to jump down a lot of things, then yeah, get them, but also use my affiliate link down below for some footprint insoles. Because otherwise, your feet are going to expire before you're 30. What? If you have a shoe in mind that you want me to do a review on, leave it in the comments down below. If you have a suggestion for the next sticker app update, shoot me a DM on Instagram because I pretty much reply to everybody. And try to destroy that subscribe button with one solid click. And since these aren't really getting destroyed anytime soon, I think the only way I can get rid of them is in a big billow of smoke. This is not a reflection of what I think about these shoes. I actually really like them, but shoe drop. Nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Is that, is that, is that, oh, there it goes. There it goes. It's doing it. It's doing it. That's it. That's it. That's all I get. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This, it's more fire than, than anything else. This was, was very anticlimactic. Sodi episode coming soon. Wait, 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 hold up one second. Before you go ahead and take off and go watch some other video, go ahead and check out the rest of my channel because there's a bunch of videos, different shoes I reviewed in the past. And maybe there's a shoe that you want to know about on there. So make sure you subscribe because I'm coming out with new videos every week.